so good morning and welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. It's sadly my last day in England today, um, last morning anyway, later on this afternoon, I'll be jetting back off to sunny Spain. Um, had a wicked time, wicked Christmas, wicked New Year, caught up with uh, a lot of friends and family and stuff like that and it's been really fantastic. But now it's back to sunny Spain, my happy place, my uh, my sunshine on my back every day and um and so we're going to speak about quite a few players today. I want to rifle through these as quick as I possibly can. Um, we're going to start off with the loan moves of players first, then we'll move on to some potential permanent moves. Now, last um, last night I briefly spoke about this on my stream about Eddie and Ketia. Now, we know that Bristol City wanted him in the summer. That didn't happen. He went on loan to Leeds United. Now, that all went sour in the end. I don't quite know what happened there, but it all went a little bit sour. And he ended up coming back. He'd done very, very well for Leeds. Um, but Bristol City wanted him in the summer. They're still chasing his signature now. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, they're in for him. But the red-hot favourites who are apparently in talks with him as we speak are Nottingham Forest. Now, I said this the other day when I did um, did a video the other day. I said that for me, I think that would be the ideal opportunity for him. I think that would be the team that he will excel at. It's not that far from London, Nottingham. It's only up the motorway. It's not that far. I think that there's a team that play decent attacking football and he could get a starting berth in that team every single week from now until the end of the season. I think that would be the ideal opportunity and I really hope he gets to go to Nottingham Forest. Um, it will also be good for them because, listen, the guy's proven already that he can do it in the um, in the championship. He scored a lot of goals for Leeds, created a lot of goals and um, Leeds fans were well happy with him. Bielsa... Um, not so, because he didn't start him every week, but um, they did have Bamford up front, who can hold the ball up a lot better than Eddie, but listen, Eddie's still a good player. Um, he's not quite ready for Arsenal, which is why I really hope he goes to Nottingham Forest. Go out, get your, get your stripes, and then come back to Arsenal in the summer, and maybe you can get a starting berth. Now let's move on to Smith Rowe, another one that's it's just kind of fallen away a little bit. You know, he went on loan last season, didn't quite work out. He got injured, um, hardly featured in any games. And then he's come back. He's then got injured for Arsenal. And since he's come back from that injury, he's not really done anything. He's looked out of sorts. Now, Huddersfield, they're said to be interested in him. Um, they're supposedly in talks to get him. And that is something I do think will happen. I do think that we'll loan him out. I do think he'll go to Huddersfield. Um, we shall wait and see what happens with that. But he's not going to get in Arsenal's first eleven. I don't think he's quite ready for Arsenal's first eleven. And this is the thing. Arsenal fans, as a fan base, um, would love to see somebody like Smith Rowe come through and kick on and be that talisman, be that midfielder that can score goals, create goals and look superb week in, week out. The fact and reality is, I think we've all bigged him up a little bit too much, including myself. I've, I rate him a lot, but... I think I might have gone a little bit too far ahead of myself with that one because he ain't really done a lot to warrant the praise. Um, now, let's move on. I did my five o'clock stream about this guy, and that is Squadron Mustafi. Now, um, he's changed agencies. He's gone with SBE agency, and um, a lot of players are, play, uh, are changing their agents this uh, January transfer window, which, for me, suggests they're all after getting moves out of the club um, or out of their respective clubs. But... Uh, we know that Pini Zahavi is now representing Wilfred Zaha. Um, we now know that SBE are now um, representing Squadron Mustafi. Now, if you go all the way back to the summer, Mustafi um, was linked with moves left, right and centre, surprisingly. Um, but he came out on the Europa League press conference. I think it was with Unai Emery. And um, he was open, he was honest, and he said that there was a move on the table for him. There was a deal ready and waiting for him to sign wasn't quite the right deal he wanted, i.e. I'd imagine money, and um, and it weren't quite enough money for the club. So he ended up staying. I think the club would take anything. I think it was more about his personal terms. But um, he's obviously changed to a different agent now, which for me means he's going. That's, that's how I'm seeing it. I'm looking at it thinking, right, you've changed. Um, you've changed because you didn't get what you wanted in terms of your um, your signing on fee or your agent fee or your wages every week. Um, I think that he's probably gone, OK, let's see what happens in the first couple of weeks of January. Um, that hasn't quite happened in the first week. 
And um, he's probably thought, you know what, let me be my agent. He ain't doing his job properly. So I get it. Um, now all I need to see is, um, is him leave as quick as possible. We've got 22 days of the transfer window left. And um, I want to see him gone. I want to see him gone quickly. I don't care how much money we get for him or how little money we get for him. Um, he's not been great since he's been here. Well, I'm saying that he has been better this season. Um, but overall, for the investment that we've done on him, which totals over 50 million quid, by the way, if you include wages and transfer fee, and not really lived up to that 50 million, has he? In fact, it's absolutely embarrassing we spent that much money on him. But it is what it is. I wish him well if he goes, the same as the other two on loan. Um, let's move on to some players that are linked with moves in. Uh, Dries Mertens. Again, yesterday that one came out all afternoon, all evening. £10 million. Um, now, Juve are the hot favourites to get him. Um, let him have him. Let them have him. Um, I don't want him. 32 years old. No. No, no, no. Don't want him. Don't rate him. I, I've never rated him. I don't get the fascination behind Dries Mertens. I've never got the fascination behind him, if I'm being honest. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know what you think of him. But do we need a 32-year-old that's going to come here, take massive wages, and is he really going to start games like week in, week out? Is he going to come here and want to sit on the bench? Because I think that's what would happen. He ain't getting in over Aubameyang. He ain't getting in over Laka. I think Laka's better than him. Um, is he going to play at a number 10 role? Well, okay, cool. Um, yeah, maybe. But really... I've never, I've never got it. I genuinely haven't. I think he's too slight. Um, he's too. Listen, don't get me wrong. He's very quick. He's very skillful. He's a good player. But I've never got the him up here being great. I don't get it. Um, I do think he would do all right in the Premier League, just not with us. So you can go wherever you want, mate. Yeah, go Juve. Um, Edison Cavani. I spoke about him yesterday. Um, again, he's still linked to Arsenal. He's linked to Man United. He's linked to Atletico Madrid. Um, again, another 32-year-old that had come in on massive money. Um, with him, he takes about 25 million chances to score a goal. Um, although, with the hold-up play, maybe Arteta might be thinking, look, we we'll get him in, um, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're we'll get the hold-up play, big man, little man, and all that. I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. But one thing I, I have thought about with um, with us being linked to all these strikers is does the club know that uh, potentially one of these two that we've already got is leaving? And we know that Atletico were that close to signing Lacazette until they got a transfer ban. I would not be surprised one little bit if Lacazette leaves in this transfer window. At the same time, I wouldn't be surprised one little bit if Aubameyang leaves in this transfer window. The pair of them both leaving? No. But um, I, I can see maybe one of them leaving. Um, it could actually be Laka. Laka's looked so frustrated recently. Maybe something's playing on his mind. I don't know. Um, I don't know him. I don't know anyone who knows him. Um, so I'm just putting that out there. But um, that's just my thoughts on it. But it wouldn't surprise me if one of them went this, this transfer window, which is why we're going for a Cavani or a Mertens or players like that. But at the end of the day, we see what happens. We're, we're just going to have to see it out for the next 22 days and see where we are as a football club how many players we've got out, um, how many players we've got in, and what our squad looks like um, health-wise in terms of players back from illness, fitness, stuff like that, um, from injuries. we just got to hope and pray it's enough to get us up into that European spaces um, going into next season. Um, ideally, that's where the club want to be. That's where I want to be. I love, I love the Europa League. It's, I know a lot of people will drive a Champions League. Ain't about Champions League for me. Yes, the money's better, um, but the money's amazing either way now. Yeah, so it doesn't mean you can't entice better players to your club if you're not in the Champions League. I, I totally disagree when people say that. Um, I, I want to be in the Europa League next season. I think we've got a chance to win the Europa League. You know, I think, you know, that's why I like it. You know, getting smacked every week in the Champions League, that ain't for me. I want to win something. So, listen, leave it all in the comments section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think it would be a good move for Eddie to go Forest? Do you think it would be a good move for Smith Road to go Huddersfield? What about Mustafi? Leave all that down below. Um, also, what about Dries Mertens? Would you take him? Do you rate him? And what about Edison Cavani? So leave all of that in the comments section down below. I will be back later with a live stream. It will probably be when I land in Malaga. Um, so I'll probably live stream that in Malaga Airport. 
before I get to where I'm going. Um, don't forget Twitter, Insta and Facebook, all in the description. Go and support all of them as well. I appreciate each and every one of you that watches my videos. And um, yeah, until later on this evening, I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.